When the pH is 7, then it's a case where the sample is neither acids nor base. But less than 7, it's an acid, we say. More than 7, it's a base all the way. Welcome to another past HSC exam question videos. In this video, we're going to cover this exam question, which comes from the indicator chapter. So while I do in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question. And when you're ready, press play, and I'll go over the actual answer itself. So it's, there's two parts to this question. First one is identify one common household substance. That's for one mark. And B is a student used indicators to determine whether three colorless solutions were acidic or basic. The indicators used are shown in the table. And these are the indicators. These are the color changes. And these are the pH ranges right here. Sample of each solution were tested with the indicators. The color of the resulting solutions are shown in the table. And these were the indicators that were added. These were color solution A, color solution B, color solution C. So the colors of these different solutions. And these were the actual colors. Um, the student concluded that each of the three solutions tested were basic. Assess the validity of this conclusion. That's sort of three marks. So pause the video in a second, attempt the question, and when you're ready, press play and I'll go over the actual answer itself. Welcome back. All right, so for the very first one, it's a relatively straightforward one. It asks you just to identify. It says one. Again, anything in capital letters, make sure you put a focus on that because that will tell you exactly what to do. So just one, not more than one. And that's worth one mark. So all you really have to do is you have to name one common household substance and you want to make sure it's a base as well because it's asking for it to be a base. So what I wrote is ammonia solution can be found in various cleaning products. So ammonia solution is a basic substance and that can be found in cleaning, cleaning products. Therefore, you get your one mark for that question. Now the second part is that we have to, first one, we have to use um, the extra questions here. So the question is assess the validity of this conclusion. So assess means we have to see if it's right or wrong. And the actual question or the problem was that a student concluded that each of these three solutions were basic. So he said that both solution A, B, and C, all these three, were all bases. And remember, bases were anything that we've had a pH of above 7. Um, so most of these have pHs of 8 plus. These were bases. So how can we figure that out? Well, we can use these indicators. So he said that he used all these different indicators. So for color solution A, he used, for solution A, B, and C, he first used methyl orange. And what he figured out is that they all turned yellow. So we know, okay, methyl orange turned yellow. So that's the pH range. So it's going to be above 4.4 if it turned yellow. So using the first indicator, we know now that it has a pH of above 4.4 for all of these three substances. So that's good because that means yeah, it has to have a pH of above 8. If it has a pH of above 4.4, that means it might be base. We don't know exactly yet. It could still be an acid or neutral. But we know it's definitely going to be a pH above 4.4. So using this indicator, it's still plausible that they're all bases. The next indicator, methyl red, turned yellow for solution A, yellow for solution B, and yellow for solution C. So yellow for all of these three. And if we look at methyl red, if it turns yellow, so red to yellow, so yellow is that second part of the spectrum, and that means that it will have a pH of above 6. So that's for yellow. So now we know that all three of these substances have a pH of above 6.0 pH, which again is good because bases should have a pH of around 8 or plus, more than 8. And using this indicator, we figure that out, that it would have definitely have a pH of above 6. So it's still all plausible. Using the next one, they figured out that for solution A, it turns changes to color blue. For solution B, it also turns blue. Solution C, it turns yellow. So what was thymine blue? For thymine blue, if it turned yellow, it meant it had a pH of 8 or less. So usually less than 8. And if it had it turned blue, it meant it had a pH of more than 9.6. So which one turned yellow? Solution C turned yellow. So solution yellow for solution C. So thereby we can say, okay, this has a, a solution C has a pH of less than 8. 
and that raises a question mark because pHs, bases usually have a pH of greater than 8, and it says less than 8. Whereas the other ones were blue, so blue means that it's going to be above 9.6. So both solution, solution A plus B turned blue. So that means they're going to have a higher than 9.6. And higher than 9.6 makes them a base because bases have 8 plus. So they're higher than 9.6. So we know that solution A and solution B are most definitely A base. And solution C is a big question mark. Probably not because it actually is more likely to be neutral or slightly acidic and not basic because it has a pH of less than 8. So for this one, you should have written each of them, so you talk about each solution A, B, and C, and why you think that they're correct or incorrect. So for the very first one, when I said that solution A and B were actually bases, I justified that as well. So I wrote, the, students his, the student concluded that each of the three solutions tests were basic. Now this was the question. His conclusion that solution A and B are, are a base is correct. So that they are bases is correct, and we mentioned why, because using Thymol blue, we figured out it has a pH of 9.6. So as it as it turns thymol blue to a blue color, which indicates a pH of above 9.6, and that's basic. Now for the second part, obviously the, the solution C, we said that it was probably wrong. So but it's the next part. So any substance that has a pH below 8, so now I've defined what is not a base, is either neutral or acidic. And the color solution uh, and the color of solution C changed to yellow when tested with thymol blue. And this observation suggested that solution C has a pH of less than 8, which makes his prediction for C incorrect. So A and B are bases, but C is probably not a base. And that was worth one mark for the top one, so we got one mark just for stating the actual product, and three marks for the bottom one, and you've gotten um, points for mentioning that A and B are actually correct and also justifying why, so that fine and blue turned blue and then you also got a mark for saying that C was incorrect and you gave the reason why because it had a, using fine and blue it had a pH of less than 8 and less than 8 is not a base. Where do these questions come from? They come from these dot points. The first one is a simple one, classify common substances as acidic or basic or neutral and that is this question identify one common base uh, one common household base that was from that dot point and the other one was solve problems by applying information about the color changes of indicators to classify some household substances as acidic neutral or basic so here we've looked at the indicators and looked at what kind of color they change to these random solutions and that comes from this dot point so hopefully that was useful thank you for watching